Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Eugene Sanders, Chief Executive Officer and Superintendent for Sandusky City Schools. I'm delighted today to be here at Hancock Elementary School with two sixth graders who will be bringing you the December 2016 news streak. And to my left is Riley, and to my right is Cam uh, Cameron. And uh, they're going to be uh, joining me today with our new streak information for December 2016. But before we get started, I'd like to ask our students today uh, their favorite subject and what they think they like to be when they grow up. And we'll start with Riley. My favorite subject is math and science, and I, my career will, I would like my career to be a scientist. Okay, very good. My favorite subject is either math or reading, and I want to be in the Marines. Very good. So we have a Marine and a scientist coming out of Hancock here. We're very proud of both of them. So uh, to get started uh, with our December 2016 news streak, we'll get started with Riley. Venice Heights Elementary will be hosting a mother and son dance at 6 o'clock p.m. on Thursday, December 1st. The cost is $5 per person. On Friday, December 2nd, Hancock Elementary will host its winter program at 9.30 a.m. and at 12.45 p.m. A father and daughter dance will take place in Jackson Gym at 6.30 o'clock p.m. And the Great Lakes Visual and Performing Arts Academy will host a first Friday event in the SHS Auditorium and at 6 p.m. The Ohio Music Education Association District 2 Honors Audition will be held at Port Clinton High School on Saturday, December 3rd, and that program starts at 9 o'clock a.m. Great Lakes Visual and Performing Arts Academy applications will be available on Monday, December 5th. A winter band concert will be held in the SHS Auditorium at 6 7 o'clock p.m. for grades 7th and 8th and the Brass Choir. The Venice Heights Elementary Father and Son, Father and Daughter Dance is at 6 p.m. on Tuesday, December 6. The cost is $5 per person. And an orchestra concert for grades 7 through 12 will be held uh, in the Sanusky High School Auditorium. Uh, starts at 7 o'clock p.m. and that's on Wednesday, December the 7th. On Thursday, December 8th, the Sandusky High School Blood Drive will take place starting at 9 o'clock a.m. in the Sandusky High School Gymnasium. Mills Elementary will host its winter program at 10 o'clock a.m. and 1.30 p.m. The winter choral concert for grades 7th and 8th as well as the prep choirs will take place later that night at 7 o'clock p.m. in the SHS Auditorium. Osborne Elementary will host its winter program at 9 o'clock a.m. and at 1 p.m. on Friday, December 9th. And ACT testing will take place at the high school, Sandusky High School, at 7 o'clock a.m. on Saturday, December the 10th. On Tuesday, December 13th, Osborne Elementary Student Council will take will be participating in the community service project. Students will be Christmas caroling at the Providence Care Center starting at 2.35 p.m. The a cappella choir Christmas concert will take place at 7 o'clock p.m. in the Sandusky High School Auditorium later that evening. Venice Heights Elementary will be hosting their elementary winter program on Wednesday, December 14th at 9 a.m. and at 1 p.m. And at the Ontario Elementary School, they will be hosting their winter program on Thursday, December 15th. Starts at 9 o'clock a.m. and 12.30 p.m. The Sandusky Middle School will have their annual winter dance at 4 p.m. in the Sandusky High School cafeteria. And the Acapella Choir Christmas concert will take place in the Sandusky High School auditorium. That will be at 7 o'clock p.m. on December the 15th. And it also marks the end of the second quarter grading period. Oh, Friday, December 16th is the semester grace day, so that means no school for students. There is also a UBS mother and son dance in Sandusky High School cafeteria at 6 o'clock p.m. Monday, December 19th is the start of the winter break. Board of Education offices will be closed on Friday, December 23rd, Monday, December 26th, and Monday, January 2nd. School will resume on Tuesday, January January 3rd. We are uh, excited to have had the opportunity to be here uh, for our December 2016 news streak, uh, ending our news streaks for the entire year of 2016. 
our, our next new streak will be in January uh, for the next year. I'd like to thank both Riley uh, and Cam for their excellent uh, announcements this morning. And uh, to all of you out there, thank you for joining us for a great 2016. And we'll see you all next year. Go Streaks!